Every parent knows that when there's a new baby in the house, the thing you do is check on that baby obsessively. And the trend in tech products is toward devices that let you collect an obsessive amount of data about your baby. Even the good old fashioned baby monitor has come a long way. Now there are Wi-Fi connected baby cameras from Withings and Dropcam that capture HD video, let you talk to the baby from another room, and let you check in on them when you're at work or traveling using an app on your phone. But if stalking your baby on video isn't enough for you, how about smart baby wearables that let you actually gather data about your child? New products are either out now or coming soon that will let you track everything from your baby's breathing and movements during sleep to sound in the room, their temperature, and even their heart rate. We got our hands on an early version of the Mon Baby Button and the Mimo Onesie, and our video editor was kind enough to let us try them out on her 11-month-old twins. <laughs> The Mon Baby is still in development, but it's basically a little button that you can clip onto the baby's clothes while she's sleeping, and it tracks breathing and movement. You ready? And then the Mimo is available now for $200, and it's a onesie with a little clip attached to it that tracks breathing, motion, room temperature, and room audio, all through an external base. Two other options coming in 2015 are the Sproutling Anklet and the Owlet Sock, which both do similar types of tracking. You get a lot of data from these apps and it can be somewhat overwhelming, although they try to organize it into insights and helpful information that could let you or your baby get a little bit of extra sleep. And they might ease fears around things like sudden infant death syndrome, although it's important to note that none of these are medical devices and none of them have been proven in any way to predict or prevent SIDS. But these devices aren't for everyone. For one thing, you have another thing to charge. You might be troubleshooting Bluetooth or Wi-Fi issues. You may have to remember to put an anklet or a onesie on your baby every time they take a nap. Plus, there's the information overload factor. There's still the question of how that data could be used. Mimo and Mon Baby both say they're not interested in sharing any data they collect about your babies. Sproutling and Owlet are interested in sharing that information with researchers, although it is anonymous and Sproutling will let parents opt in. However, it's the early days. Those policies could change. The data these devices collect could be very useful for sleep research and even big issues like SIDS. But if you're collecting all that data about your baby, you should take the time to figure out how it's going to be used. And you might want to ask yourself if all these attempts at peace of mind are just giving you more things to worry about. You're a new parent. Aren't you losing enough sleep already?